Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up hotkeys in Streamlabs OBS. Coming up next in the Streamlabs tutorial. So hotkeys can be extremely useful. I can go ahead and switch scenes with a touch of a button on my keyboard. Otherwise, I can start or stop streaming by touching a button. And one of my most useful ones is muting or unmuting my microphone. When I want to run to the bathroom or to the kitchen, I can just go ahead and press a button on my keyboard. So is setting up hotkeys on Streamlabs OBS difficult? No, it's very easy. Let's jump over to my computer right now and I'll show you how to set them up. All right, so I'm on Streamlabs OBS right now. Let's go to the settings section on the bottom left hand side this and select the settings cog. Now it's going to open up this window. And on the left hand side, there is a category specifically just for hotkey. Now setting up hotkeys from here is very, very easy. So if I want to start recording, I go ahead and select this box. And then I select a corresponding button on my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and use F11 to start recording. And then I'm going to go down to F12 and put that into stop recording. So that's set up very easily for me to start and stop my streams. Now there is a lot of different settings on here you can go through and customize your hotkeys specifically the way you want it. A lot of my hotkeys I set up were transitions between my different scenes. So I have my stream be right back scene. I'd set this up so every time I press a F key, I'd switch to this scene so I can run to the kitchen or go to the bathroom real quick. So each scene you have in Streamlabs OBS has all these different options. Now we're in my in-game PC scene. And at the very end of the scene, you're going to have switch to scene where you can actually switch that scene real quick by pressing the F key. And that's where I typically put all my hotkeys to the F keys just because most of the games you play, they won't be using the what, F5, the F12, maybe like the F1, the F4 you'll be using a little bit more. So those seem to be out of the way a little bit more of the games you're going to be playing. And then once you scroll all the way to the bottom of the hotkeys, under here you can start seeing some more like media sources where you can push to talk, push to mute, unmute, or mute your microphone under your specific source. So here's my audio input capture. I can go ahead and unmute or mute my mic right here by pressing, let's go ahead, set that to F10. And here's my desktop audio. I can go ahead and mute or unmute this very easy. And here is my capture card audio, Recentral I'm using. Once you go through this and get used to it, it's very easy to set them up and they become incredibly helpful when you're streaming or just recording on your computer, especially if you only have one monitor. Now, one of the disadvantages of using hotkeys on your keyboard is, well, when you're playing some games, the keys and your hotkeys on the game will overlap sometimes. So you're pressing a button and it's got a dual function to it. And that may be troublesome for some people. One thing I did pick up was this stream deck right here from Elgato. And this allows me to map an infinite amount of buttons or hotkeys to it, and I don't have to use my keyboard. So if you're getting serious into streaming, check out a Elgato Stream Deck. It's well worth the money. So if this video did indeed help you out setting up hotkeys for Streamlabs OBS, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more tech help tips coming up next on Your 6 Studios.